Okay. I'm going to try something new here. Take alcohol inks. Just put it on. Take some glacier blue. And some purple. Okay, and a little of the mermaid. So we got it. And some green, which is mojito. We're going to take some silver. I'm going to shake this really well. Put that right in the center. And then we're going to take some white. And put it right over top of the silver. Okay. And then we are just going to take our resin and pour it slowly right in the center. And we're going to see what happens. Okay. Can you see how it's already starting to pull in there? Let's do another one. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. And I have not done this before, so we'll see how these are going to turn out. The purple and the glacier. See what we get. And the watermelon. Oh, these are looking pretty cool. Drops of the mermaid. Okay. 
in the drops of the Mojito. And then the silver. <laughs> These are going to turn out cool. And then the white. There we go. And then just pour right in that center. Okay, well, you can see already they look different because I did them at different times. But I think they're going to be really cool. You can see how this is pulling back in. I don't know if you can see that. So we will let them do their thing. And we'll be back in a little bit to check on them. It's a lot of dark around here. Mm. But I think it looks pretty cool. Oh, let me get the bubbles out. See you back in a little bit. Okay, so these are cured. They're still pliable. So, went to the dollar store and I got some bowls. We're going to make little bowls out of these. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this beeswax and just... Put some in the bottom of the bowl so it doesn't stick to it. We're going to try a couple of different ones here. Which one we like better. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So what we're going to do, take this one and kind of mold it to the bottom of the bowl like that. And I'm going to take something heavy on top and then tape it down. So I'm going to press that down like so. Make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, I'm going to do that a couple different ways. Okay. Make sure that's holding it down. We want it to cure the rest of the way hard. That. Okay. So that's the first one. And I bought these steel ones. So let's try one of those. See if we like that again. I'm going to rub the inside so it doesn't stick. Take this out of the mold. Oh, cool. Put this inside of here. Okay, and then there's smaller ones. And we're gonna do the same thing. Make sure that kind of is centered. Like so. 
All right, and do the same thing. Hold that, hold that down. Going to do it just like that. Where's my electrical tape? Okay. We're just going to keep doing that around the bowl, holding that down nice and tight. Okay. Okay, really press that down so it folds. Okay. We've got two. Let's do the third one in here again. And you do want to put something in the bowl so it doesn't stick because it is not easy getting them out. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Again, stick it in. And press it down. This on top of it. I think this is going to work better than the silver ones. Set down. And if you have to, you can put something heavy on top of it. So that it stays down. That down really well, tighten that up. Yeah. That down and then tight. Okay. All right, so that's what it looks like in the bowl. Back them on top of each other. I'm going to do this one as well. Again, I'm just doing this so it doesn't stick to the bowl because that can be a problem. You can use anything. You don't use beeswax. It's just what I had. Okay. Stick that in. I'm going to get a couple pieces of tape right It's centered, push it down, that bowl on top. And you want to get the um, posters when they're cured so they're not sticky, but not all the way so that they're hard. So press down and tighten that up. down down and then we're going to let this cure for a couple more hours so they get totally hard and then we will have little bowls okay we will see you back here in a couple of hours and see how these are doing. You can stack them. We're just moving. All right. See you back in a couple hours. Yep, slides out really nicely. Oh, that turned out really cute. There's one. Perfect. Two. Three. 
you know, this one turned out. Oh, I love how they turned out. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is make a silver uh, chrome marker. And we're just gonna go around the edge. Put your glasses on so I can see. Okay, so you see how I'm just doing the edge here. Just go all around this edge. And then you can even go inside like that. Just going to do the edge first. And then we will take it inside here. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I'm just going to do the other ones. There we go for you. And these make great little trinket bowls. Put your rings in them, anything you want. But aren't they adorable? See, just like that. Thanks for watching.